Okay, if I knew them. Three minute zero, playing as black. So block the pawn in the center, develop the knights coming up. Captured the bishop, developed the bishop, and castled. Brought the queen up, looking to maybe attack the rook if they go and castle, which they do, so the bishop attacks. Bringing the rook opposite their rook. Start pushing the pawn up now, looking to see if we can put some pressure towards the king. Keep pushing that pressure and just taking the rook off the board, putting some pressure onto the queen, trying to jostle for a better position. Just capturing all simple stuff. And at this point here, did um and ah. I did think about sitting the queen here, but I just... Because the thing is, he could have just taken and gone here, that type of situation. But I just didn't want to lose a pawn, if that kind of makes sense. Well, it does to me anyway. All right, so it probably would have been a better position for us, but I just didn't want to take that chance. In the quicker games, you know, you have to think quick and I fought quick and I thought, let's just take it off the board. So we brought the rook up now, it's attacking the pawn that's unprotected. When we start dancing with the knight a little bit to try and improve the position. And so we can put a check on the king, the pawn can't take, but I did think, well, okay, look, it's a little bit convoluted there, dude, a little bit fancy. So we took the rook off the board. Now we're thinking, let's get this knight back out of here. And we need to really reassess how can we get these pawns on the other side of the ball. Because realistically, we do have a lovely bishop, which at the moment it's not getting challenged. And it's not locked down in any way, shape by our own pieces. So it looks like it can stay there for a bit. So I wouldn't change anything there. It's uh, showing plus 1.4. Um, that's big. We gave up that pawn. So for, for me, I'm not bothered about that. Um, we did it for an improved position. So I feel like we have got forward momentum going. So their knight comes across looking to get into the spaces just to try and cause some havoc. But I'm thinking, don't really want any of that. Let's block that down. And let's try and keep blocking that area off and just jam it down a bit more. Now our knight can jump to this spot. This pawn can't be protected. It can jump down. We can take, take. Did expect them to push it, but they didn't. So we could grab the pawn and this pawn has not got any protection on either. So it's like a, a massive whirlwind in knight. The famous knight hunter. So we can grab. So we're making more space for our pieces. Especially the pawn that's potentially coming up. We can take this knight off the board. And start pushing. And then white timed out at that point. So in this particular game. I don't really think I would have changed anything. Other than probably be a little bit more brave. With the queen move. But when you're playing a quick game, sometimes when the offer is there, you know, I did see this, but I thought, well, he's got this game upon. So when you're playing quick game, you're like, oh, I'm giving up a piece. I don't want to give a piece up, even if it is a pawn. Yeah, but if I'd have gone here, I'm thinking they would have gone like that. But then we take. He's not going to do anything really, is he? Say knight b3. Is that the best they've got? Where's b3? Oh, it's protecting the protecting the rook. So the rook gets protected anyway. Can't even take the pawn there. So it's no major thing. Attack the queen goes here. Two on one. Okay, there's something there, but for me, quick, quick game. I don't know if I would have. I don't know. Nah, I don't think I would have done. But it's nice to practice and no, um, I did see the bit of going to the this square here with the queen. So maybe just push it a little bit further next time. 